Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming another Colourpop Ultra Matte Lip Swatch video. Now, this wasn't my idea, this was your guys' idea. I asked you what videos you guys wanted to see. I got some requests for more Colourpop lip swatches, um, in particular with the ones that I haven't done from the Ultra Matte collection. Videos that I've already uploaded have done so well and you guys wanted me to do more. So yeah, these are all the shades that I got. I would find it so hard to choose to know what shade is which because look how similar these are. So if you guys want to watch my Colourpop liquid matte, what are these called? Colourpop ultra matte liquid lipsticks part three, four maybe, I think it's four, then yeah keep watching. For reference, the colour that I'm wearing is the Colourpop lippy stick in Pillow Talk, that's my current favourite. So yeah I love it. First up we have the shade Growing Pains. Growing Pains, that's a song, isn't it? By the way, if you guys want to know my foundation references, I'm MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC40, Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade Cashew, Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation Stick in Golden Beige, I believe. Did I get gold? Golden. Yeah, but all the other foundation shades are listed in my description box, so check that out for reference. That's it fully dry. What shade is this? The shade Growing Pains. Oh, it's like a, I would say it's a nude. Not bad, would definitely pair it with a darker lip liner, especially around the edges, just to kind of give my lips a bit more definition. But yeah, once again, this is Growing Pains. Growing Pains. Next up, we have the color WYD. Ooh, by the way, sorry about my band-aid. All right, I cut my finger. Oh yeah, I like this one. I like this one. So that's finished drying down. Oh, big fan. I really like this color. This is the color that I would actually try to make myself from other liquid lipsticks. Now I do, I would just add like a little bit of a darker lip line around the edges and then it would be just, it would just be amazing. Really like this. So once again, this is WYD. Oh, what, what are you doing? I don't know, W-Y-D. Next up we have the shade, there's just a lot of nudes happening you guys. So next up we have the shade Times Square. I'll show you guys what this one looks like. Uh huh, uh huh. Maybe not on its own, but with a lip liner, yes. It's now dry. Yeah, it's alright. It looks a lot more nude than pink in person, but I mean, not really my favorite, but it's quite nice. Yeah, I think you'd like this if you love nudes, if you just want so many nudes in your collection, you want to have like 50 different shades and you'd want to add this in. So yeah, once again, this is Times Square. Uh, you know what I would do? I would it's a lip liner thing, like I would usually add some depth to my lips with lip liner. Next up we have the shade Take a Pixie, so that's what it looks like. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Oh yeah. Not bad, like it's it's kind of like a deeper nude, but it's not so pink, it's more, I want to say brown, it's really hard to describe. Once again, this is Take a Pixie. Next up, we have the shade Sunday. Is it recording? It is recording. Oh, wow, wow, wow. So that's dry. Um, not a favorite, but you can see what it looks like in the tube and then on my lips. It's very, it's a lot more pink in person. Once again, this is Sunday. So next up, we have the shade Flurries. Oh my gosh! So when I was trying to order the make this order, 
the first time this was sold out and I was like damn it I really wanted this color so I hope that it's as amazing as I thought it would be oh let down I thought it'd be darker that's the shade flurries yeah I thought it'd be darker I thought it'd be like more of a deeper color but nonetheless like it looks all right so yeah once again this is flurries next up we have the shade yes is more I feel like this is like that shade where I get it and it just looks like a terracotta and I was like oh yep I forgot what color this was was a bumble when I did my very first ColourPop um lip swatch video and I was like whoa When I look at this, I'm like, mm, it's not that bad, but it looks very vibrant on my camera. It's a little bit deeper on my lips in person. I'm not sure why that is, but look at the color. So once again, this is Yes Is More. First down, we have two more left on my, on my poor lips. We have the shade Ariba. This was part of um, Karen's collab. I love Sarah E. That's what it looks like. Very red. Ooh, this is a good red. How am I going to get this off my lips? Oh, love this color and I would really like to wear it just, you know, with a nice application with a lip liner. But such a pretty red. So yeah, once again, this is Ariba. Ariba, Ariba. It's called Pearl Next Door. I love me a good deeper burgundy, ready. Uh huh. Mm hmm. It's pretty much dry. Give and take the edge. I think that's still drying. I can't tell if I just applied it really patchily or if it's still drying. But it doesn't look like an even coat. So we're just going to let it dry. But I really like the colour. Yeah. The Prata. That's the last shade. And again, this is Pearl Next Door. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Um, as always, if you guys enjoyed it, then give it a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any requests, then please leave them in the comments. And yeah, I'll probably be replying to comments in the first hour of this video going up so stop by and say hi maybe let me know what your favorite ColourPop ultra matte lipsticks are like what your favorite shades are and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye everyone do i need some more bronzer i always need more bronzer oh i don't think i'm supposed to get my eyelashes wet what a fail eyeliner oh god that poked me in the eye Sometimes I do some really dumb things, you know? Let's just take this one off and let's start over. Did I even press record? I did. It's so hot. <laughs> I'm trying to open a bag of apricots. Just so I can have a snack. Because I started to feel like really lightheaded. I will say that this is a waste of packaging. This tiny bag only has four apricots in it. I should have just bought the actual bag, but I knew I already eat the whole bag. Woo woo, I have finished my poor lips. I'm going to go soak them in some coconut oil. Bye bye.